Hey, what's up you guys? So this is the Latablet, which is a handheld PC or a tablet that runs on Windows 10 and can be used as a proper PC to run all sort of things like Microsoft Office, softwares, games, etc. Or it can be used as a tablet for media consumption. The heart of this project is a Latte Panda 3 Delta single board computer that is connected with a 7 inch IPS display that is also made by Latte Panda. There's a battery inside this setup that makes this whole thing portable. The goal here was to build a proper functioning handheld PC that can be used on daily basis for a bunch of tasks like content consumption via YouTube and light retro gaming. I use an iPad for content consumption and light gaming but the problem was it's an iPad not a PC and I wanted to make a DIY device that can replace the good old iPad in both performance and productivity. This video is gonna be about the whole build process of this Latable Hand PC tablet. Also if you want detailed build guide of this setup you can check out this project page. Link is in video description. I started this whole project by first designing the base body in Fusion 360. Latte Panda screen was modeled first and then the whole body was made according to the screen's fitting and the Latte Panda 3 Delta placement. This whole project was based on four different parts that are the base body which hold everything from screen to Latte Panda SPC, battery and other components, the lid that closes the body from the back side battery clamp that hold the battery and the switch holder that is a holder for the main on off switch. I won't go into detail about how this was created but to use Fusion 360 you can check out Lars Christensen channel for getting started. The CAD files along with the 3MF file are all on the project page for modification and 3D printing. The base body is made of white PLA with 1mm nozzle that give this part thick walls and more structural strength. The same setting was done for the lid but it's printed with the transparent PLA with a finer 0.4 mm nozzle. The battery clamp and the switch holder both are printed with black PLA with 0.4 mm nozzle as well. Because of the Latte Panda 3 Delta and the display thickness, this device is little bit thicker than the existing tablet in the market. The next version will tackle this issue and will be much slimmer. For this project, I used the official Latte Panda 7 inch EDP touch display, which is an IPS display with a 1024 by 600 high resolution screen that can achieve excellent picture quality. It even have a capacitive touch layer, which we will be utilizing for the touch part of this project. Folks at DF Robot were kind enough to send me this display for the Latte build project. So huge thanks to them for this support. You can check out more detail about this display from the link given in the video description. As for the brain of this project, Latte Panda 3 Delta is being used here, which is a single board computer powered by an Intel Celeron N5105 11th gen mobile processor. It's an x86 processor that can handle all sort of tasks that is being executed on a regular PC. I have prepared a PC with this Latte Panda and also made a video about it which you can check out on my channel. Let's get started with the assembly process now. We start the assembly process by first adding the display in the base body and then use hot glue to hold it in its place. Next, we add Latte Panda 3 Delta with the display by provided EDP cable. Then we connect the touch cable to the Latte Panda. We now place the Latte Panda in the base body and then add fiber tape to hold down the EDP cable and the touch cable down. So we can add a battery on top of it without damaging the cable. Next, we add M2 screws to secure Latte Panda in its place. 
We then add DC barrel jack, which is for charging, and a rocker switch on the base body. We add now the screw holder assembly on the base body and secure it in its place by using hot glue. Next we connect the switch CON2 port with Latte Panda SW pin. The voltage range of the Latte Panda 3 Delta power input connector is 11 to 15 volt which can be fed through a 4 pin GST connector which is on the Latte Panda. We use a 12 volt battery pack consisting of 3 lithium ion cells each of 3.7 volt. These cells are connected in series with a BMS that controls the charge and discharge cycle of the pack. Each cell has a capacity of 2900 mAh, so this pack is an 11.1 volt 2900 mAh pack. After full charge it can reach up to 12.6 volt which is under the Latte Panda power input threshold. As for charging this battery pack, an external DC jack was connected to the battery pack's positive port and an M7 diode in series. An LED indicator with the resistance was also added to the DC jack side to indicate the charger is plugged in. There's also a CON2 connector that is between the ground of the battery and the ground of Latte Panda. The idea here is to connect a rocker switch with this CON2 to manually break the continuity. This is a kill switch that turns off the main power by disconnecting the battery from the Latte Panda. We start the main assembly by adding the battery pack to its battery clamp by using some hot glue. We then place the battery clamp inside the base body and secure it in its place by using 4 M2 screws. Next we connect 4 pin JST connector of the battery pack to the Latte Panda power input connector and add rocker switch 2 pin JST connector to the battery pack connector. We add 5 threaded insert in the holes given in the lid. We hold the threaded insert with a tweezer and position it over the hole in the body. We press the insert halfway into the hole and then push it down with a soldering iron. The soldering iron will heat the threaded insert and push it down and the plastic around the insert will melt and after cooling it, it will hold the insert permanently in its place. After adding all the insert, we place the lid in its position on the base body and then secure it with 4 M2 screws vertically and then place 4 more screws, 2 on each side horizontally. Here's the result of this build. A working handheld PC or a tablet that is capable of performing all sort of tasks that we use our PC for. Not high-end tasks like video editing or running AAA titles. It can be used to browse Chrome and can be used as a content consumption device. We can also do mild gaming on this setup that include old games and some retro games as well. For checking the benchmark of this setup, I'm using 3D Mark, which can be downloaded from Steam. We install and run the software and it begin by playing a mini video that measure things like frame rate achieved while rendering different number of objects on screen at different level of complexity and different resolution. It measures CPU performance as well as graphic card performance. The Latte Panda doesn't have a graphic card on board, but it can be added by connecting a M2 to PCIe adapter that let us connect a graphic card with the SPC. The score of this handheld PC is 339. The CPU score is 1304 and the graphic score is 300. For reference, the premium gaming PC scored 19,781 in the same test. The gaming laptop that I am currently using falls in the score of 5,730 and this lat table scores 339, which isn't great number, but hear me out. This setup is powered by a single board computer. It's not meant to use as a high-end system. 
It's for small prototyping project that utilizes GPIOs and add Windows 10 capability to any project. For example, preparing a smart robot that can do XYZ stuff like going to an assigned place or autonomous movement. So here's one reason why this handled PC is great. It can run CSGO. Of course the CSGO is running on low resolution but it's running and not only this, this can also be used as a retro gaming emulation device. Like here's me running Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai 3 on PPSSPP emulator. Graphic card is not added to the system, but if we add a graphic card, then this setup can be further evolved into a freaking monster. But for now, it's a small cute puppy that does few tricks and look cute and stuff. So here's what I will be using this handheld device for, watching YouTube videos. My previous project Latintosh PC was great, but it was lacking in the screen quality section and it was equipped with a 7 inch LCD display, which was super dark. Because of the IPS display, things look fluid and bright. Overall this display is great for watching videos at high resolution. There's something missing in the setup as well, which are the internal speakers. This handheld PC doesn't have any internal speakers in it. I found few small 4 ohm speaker that I will be adding to this device shortly. For now we can use the Bluetooth of the Latte Panda to connect any Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones for the audio. For the desktop mount I have designed a bracket which will be screwed to the lid by 5 M3 screws. We already mounted threaded insert for this part during the lid assembly. This setup works and is totally practical for daily use. It lacked few things that are the battery performance and the sound along with a desktop mount that can convert this setup into a proper PC. This project was possible because of the support I got from DF Robot. They were kind enough to send one unit of Latte Panda 3 along with the 7 inch display that I have used in this build. This is it for today folks and I will be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.